Hello class. So now we're working on our second lesson of module two of this week. We started this week with some romantic poetry. We had those three poems and now we're moving on to oral literature. So oral literature refers to stories and songs that were passed down orally and not written down until later. All of the stories we're going to read were part of an oral tradition of storytelling. And just because they weren't written down by an official author doesn't mean they don't deserve to be studied. What I mean is that these oral tales have similar structures and commonalities that we can trace. Oral tales often have supernatural elements. There are magical, unrealistic things that happen. There are often animal characters that act like people. We can say that they're anthropomorphized, meaning they're given human qualities. These oral tales often contain lessons and that makes them didactic. Didactic just means that they're used for teaching. These tales are also short and easy to read in one sitting. So we are looking at three different tales. The first tale is Anansi. Anansi is a little spider from West African folklore. We are going to read a short tale about how he became the keeper of all the stories, thanks to the sky god. The second story we'll read is called All Gods Chillin Have Wings. This tale comes from the Gullah Geechee people of the southeastern United States. And the Gullah are of also of West African descent, and they were brought to the United States in as part of the slave trade. Their language can also be traced back to West Africa. Um, so this story depicts a time period during slavery when people are forced to labor. And the characters have a special ability to just fly away. In this story, we see an archetypal figure in the wise old man. An archetypal figure is a kind of type character that appears throughout many different kinds of stories. So it is this old man in the story who knows when it is the right time to fly away. So think of how many other stories do you know that depict an old man as a wise figure with some type of secret knowledge? That's the archetype, that type character found throughout folklore. Other archetypal characters would include the trickster. That's a figure that uses trickery to beat enemies that are often much larger and stronger than he. Anansi, the little spider from West African folklore, is a trickster. There's also a trickster in our last story in the figure of the wolf. So the last story we're reading is from the German portion, German speaking portion of Europe. And it's called Little Red Cap, but you may be more familiar with the English translation, Little Red Riding Hood. The Brothers Grimm collected many stories which are still popular today, like Little Red Riding Hood, also, Cinderella comes from the Brothers Grimm. Um, also, Hansel and Gretel comes from the Brothers Grimm. So, in Little Red Cap, if we read closely into the subtext of the story, we can see that this is really a cautionary tale for young women. A lesson that the young woman must stay on the right path to get through the woods. So, for this section on oral literature, we have discussion questions for each of the stories. Then there is a quiz for all of module two. And so that includes questions on Wordsworth, William Wordsworth's poem, The World is Too Much With Us. It includes questions on Giacomo Leopardi's poem, The Infinite. Questions on Charles Baudelaire's poem, Correspondences. And then the story on Anansi, All God's Chillin', and Little Red Cap. So, I hope you enjoy these samples of oral folklore, and I'll see you on the discussion board.